Hey boys and girls, hi, we're back again. We're looking at the uh, Tesla Model Y. And today what we're gonna do is look at a little bit of the uh, steel, the wiring, and we're gonna start off right here with the carpets. You'll, know that most, you'll notice that most of the carpets are torn out and I've asked, asked them to shove this one piece back in so you can have a look at what they've got going on in the back of the, uh, the carpet here. So let me just reach in here and <clears throat> get this out. So yesterday, or whenever, I was talking about EPP. This is expanded polypropylene. This is what it looks like when you <laughs> expand it. And, uh, and what they're doing here is they're, uh, they're raising the floor. They're raising the floor so they can utilize the Model 3 uh, pan. And, uh, and the pan here is going from, um, from the front of dash all the way to the kick up, which is back here. <clears throat> which is the kick up. So we are seeing that there's a couple of things that are different. Um, for one, there used to be a pillar in there, or not a pillar, but a cross car beam that was in there. That's disappeared in favor of mastic. So uh, that's how they're probably getting uh, some of their stiffness and, and getting rid of NVH. Now, I, we've had people come in and say, oh my God, my, my car doesn't have, uh, have, any, uh, have any paint on the uh, steel for the seats. This, this is not a bad idea. It doesn't cost. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it, it doesn't cost when you don't have paint. Plus, paint is uh, not so good for uh, the environment. So, anytime we can see a, a way of getting rid of paint, it's a good idea. Double good idea. Now, we look at this. And we see that this has been built up high like that. You can see that we can now utilize that fresh air space to put in the HVAC to the back seat. Okay, so let's uh, let's. Uh, um, kind of move backwards here and uh, see, if, uh, see if we can have a look at what's going on uh, back here. <clears throat> so we start looking in here and we start seeing that, uh, that the, uh, the connection for the, uh, for, the, uh, for the charge port is uh, wrapped in this uh, orange stuff. Um, that's usually used for uh, uh, itch, scratch, those kinds of things, those little noises that you hear. But what's really cool about this is underneath this, I don't know if I can pull it back, but I can. You can see that this is all, this is all pipe. It's a uh, pipe. The heavy cables are inside that pipe, which is uh, two good ideas. One, it uh, takes the place of, uh, well, it's perfect for the operators to put this in It'll be a perfect fit every time. And secondly, um, it takes up less, less size and less weight. That pipe is probably lighter than the, uh, than the cabling that you'd normally see. So let's go over here and have a look at this cabling. <clears throat> this is the old cable. It's the cable from the, um, from the uh, Model 3. And it's fairly heavy and it's got a lot of extra doodads like this. This is not on the, uh, the new version, it's not there. This, this part here would be the equivalent of what's going on into uh, this stanchion here. Now we can't take it apart because it's still plenty live. We're trying to find somebody that can discharge the battery that's still operational. So, but the, uh, uh, the, the discharge, or sorry, the, uh, the charge port going into the, uh, into the electronics bay, um, all that uh, stuff that you see here with with push pins and snap fits and all kinds of stuff. All of it's gone because they put these pipes in. So great idea there. <clears throat> so now we move over here and let's have a look at the other wiring troughs. Um, so the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna have a, a look at this. These bundles are unbelievably small. The wire sizes seems to be a smaller gauge than we would normally see. And I think that that's some of the stuff that, uh, that Tesla's done in order to, uh, to, make, uh, to make things happen. Now, the other thing too is these are candy striped. <clears throat> candy striping is, is uh, kind of inexpensive. It keeps the wires together. Uh, and what we notice is that we got convolute on the outside, so that corrugated stuff on the outside where it's exposed to the weather. And on the inside, we've got the candy striping with these ultralight um, wire troughs. So, Let's have a look at one down here that I'm especially, especially uh, interested in. Have a look at this. This is a kind of a, a really good idea. Um, 
we, we talk about this all the time, but it's very seldom that we can get a, an OEM to, to jump into this kind of a design. And the reason for that is because uh, you have to raise the floor in order to make this work. And they've done a bang up job there. <clears throat> so, so can I just go back? I forgot something here. These stanchions here, what a great idea. Um, by putting the stanchions in, they did two things. One, they brought the seats up, which people like when they're driving an SUV. And two, they used the same seats. So we know for sure now that the front seats and the console and probably the IP are identical uh, to what they had in the Model 3. And that's a good cost savings measure. The, um, uh, uh, I think that's about it for this show. I could be wrong, but uh, I don't think so. No, I think... I think we've got it all. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to try and get out a couple more today to show you what's going on here with the Model Y. Thank you very much for, uh, for viewing and uh, tip the cash here. Good idea. Thanks so much, guys. See you soon.